Hello guys, it's Shemis here from Nexus Gamers HD, and today it's going to be a tu tutorial how to install the simple native tuner version 6.5 for GTA 4 on Steam. This will also work on the non-Steam edition, you'll just need to put the files in a different directory. I will make another tutorial for that if requested, so just leave a comment if you want it on the non-Steam edition. So what you're first going to want to do, I'll have two links in the description for these two files here. So I'll download them and prove to you that they're safe. So go ahead and download those two files. Keep they're small files, 2.5 megabyte and a couple kilobytes. So once you both of them downloaded, just drag them out onto your desktop. As you see, they're safe by my antivirus. So you'll have the trainer version 6.5 file and the dsound.dll. So you want to extract the trainer version 6.5. You will get this here. So um, then you're going to want to go into your GTA 4 directory under Steam. So you get there by my computer, your C drive, your local disk, and then you go into Program Files times 86 because that's the, the default directory for your Steam. Scroll down to S and you'll get Steam. Scroll down again, go into Steam Apps, and then Common. Then Common, you'll see your Grand Theft Auto 4 directory. Open that. It opens GTA IV. And then here you will have your main directory for the game. So go ahead and open up the trainer version 6.5 files you just downloaded. And you want to only copy in these five files here. I will just highlight them. So you get scripthook.dll, the old patches, the license, trainer.asi, and the trainer configuration settings file. So just those five files, you want to drag them in and copy them. I already have it installed so I'll just replace it to show you and you can exit out of the trainer file and the D sound that you downloaded you also want to drag that in straight into your directory I also have this installed so I'll just replace that as well so now you have the simple native trainer installed in your Grand Theft Auto 4 I will switch over to some gameplay now and show you how to go through it and show you some of the contents in it. so over to the game Okay guys, once you're in game you want to hit F3 on your keyboard to display the main menu of the trainer and the controls for the trainer are all in your numpad so to go down you use numpad 2, to go up numpad 8 and to select it is numpad 5 so hit 5 to go into options and just for an example numpad 0 is to go back I'll bring you back to the menu so in options I'll give you a couple of examples here we have god mode, special god mode, gravity so click on gravity show you an example of how it is. It's zero gravity, so if you punch somebody, they will float away. It's fun to play with. As you can see he's gonna float into the sky. It's, um, okay, we'll turn that back on. You can have never wanted. Keep the cops away from you forever. Um, various different examples. This guy's punching me with God one on. It's not gonna get far. Um, here you can give weapons. Uh, we'll give weapon set 1, give weapons 2, and um, well, we'll go back now, it just give, gives you a weapon set, plenty of ammo, these guys are really annoying me. Okay, we'll do. So god mode is a beast, will not die, this also works online, so I'll show you later. Uh, other examples, you can car spawning. Spawn ourselves say Banshee for example. Press number 5. Listen to the car. You can also mod the car and back out and go into car options, second down. Change the colour, you can lock the car if it's upside down, flip it. Here we'll turn on car god mode. So you know what it is. And I'll show you here, fix car. Fixes the car. And uh, god mode's on so it will not go on fire or nothing, tires won't bust. Uh, change the colour. Can what else? You can lock doors, open doors, turn off the alarm, turn off the engine. Um, here you can have undercar neon lights, so you can change the color of that. Just in there, set neon lights color. Um, make the car dirty. You can see why you'd want that. Um, can have you can add cars into the trainer as well. You can spawn them. So if you had mods, uh, model spawning. So you can make Nico whatever character you want. 
Uh, for example, Jason is price number five. Okay, he's now Jason. Um, object spawning, you can spawn BMX ramps, Statue of Liberty, uh, airplanes, all this here will spawn a plane in the center of the road. Okay, so jet. Okay. It just spawns a jet, that's solid. As you can see. Um, you can spawn them anywhere in the map, also works in multiplayer. Teleporting, we will go. Where shall we go? We'll go to the airport. Let's press number 5 again. Teleports to the airport. And as you can see, if you're in a vehicle, it will uh, take the vehicle with uh, the character as well. Um, you can tel save teleport, so if you were somewhere, you could save it as that location, and then it will be in your teleporting list. You can change the time. Make it night time. Uh, you can change the weather and you can also give them weapons individually. You give weapons individually down here you can then set the ammo in that current weapon to whatever you want. You can make it 9999 if you wanted. So um, it's a basic rundown of the uh, the mod menu. There's some other things you know like bodyguard spawning things and health. So uh, we'll go into multiplayer now and I'll show you it working in multiplayer. It will only work in free roam. So uh, it will not work in deathmatch or anything, so if, just, if you think it's not working, it will only work in free mode, remember that. So we'll go ahead on into multiplayer here, play match, live, match, free mode. I'll just fast forward this to make it quicker. Okay guys, so I'm in a multiplayer lobby here, I'll show you. A couple of players in with us. Um, show you some of the features working online. So again menus up, uh let's spawn ourselves a car. And the ambulance. Alright so everything's working online as well. Remember only free mode. We have a uh, god mode on. These guys probably try to kill me soon. Spawn ourselves in some weapons. There we go. As you can see, I'm beast with god mode. So you can just like use this to your advantage online. Annoy some people and uh so yeah it's working online. And one last thing before we end, you can hide with the main menu, use F4. And to bring it back you have to use F4 again, not F3. So yeah, um, thanks for watching, hope this tutorial was clear enough for you to understand, hope everything worked out for you. So if it did please leave a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, we'll have some funny fails and more tutorials for mods and things like that. If you can request anything to us just send us a message and we'll get down to it. So uh, thanks for watching and hopefully see you again.